what's new in the survey? So, like, consumers often say, oh, I believe in sustainability, a shampoo that is sustainable as long as it makes their hair nicer. Is that shifting? Do people really want their values to be shared? Yeah, so the way, the way that we look at meaningful, we define meaningful across three different pillars. The functional benefits that a brand provides, the, you know, rational aspect, does the brand deliver on the service or product you're trying to deliver? Um, the personal benefits, what is the brand doing for me personally, and what is the brand doing for the collective benefit of society? So overall, we see that rational is always the most important. Functional is the key entry point to be meaningful for people, and we know that over time, meaningful does drive business. You do have better business results if people consider you a meaningful brand see a shift that collective benefits are starting to take a more important role. And it isn't just millennials. I really want to emphasize that. It's yeah. every generation, boomers included, want brands to participate in contributing to the betterment of society. But Maria, how quickly can you actually lose the pillar of meaningful? So I'm looking at, you know, the, the, the top 10 performing meaningful brands, PayPal, Mercedes, uh, WhatsApp, YouTube. I mean, YouTube has been like mired in controversy, right? And a lot of advertisers are pulling from them because their ads are, are next to content that they don't want to be associated with. Right. Yeah, uh, the, the tech brands do very well. Um, uh, over the last three years, in fact, most of the tech brands have been in the top 10. The biggest reason for that is because they go beyond the sector. You know, if we look at that, you know, functional, collective, and personal benefit, functional, they deliver. Um, but on personal, people get, you know, they learn new things, they teach new skills, they stay connected to other people. So despite the controversy, even with, for instance, the data privacy issues we had last year on some of the tech companies, we still see them delivering generally well across all three things.